I am an autistic girl who has learned how to spell and can tell people to stop looking at me like I am helpless. I am cute, funny, and like to have fun. Most of her life, Carly Fleischman was dismissed as mentally impaired. Come, I'll race you. On your mark. Get set. Go. But three years ago came an astonishing breakthrough. Carly began not only to type, but to unlock the mysteries behind her often wild behavior. <laughs> like banging her head. Because if I don't, it feels like my body is going to explode. It's just like when you shake a can of Coke. If I could stop it, I would, but it's not like turning a switch off. I know what is right and wrong, but it's like I have a fight with my brain over it. She started to realize that by communicating, she had power over her environment. Use your words. And Carly was not shy about expressing her desires and frustrations. I want to be able to go to school with normal kids, but not have them getting upset or scared if I hit a table or scream. I want something that will put out the fire. Do you want to go downstairs for some meat? <laughs> if that wasn't dramatic enough, for the first time she was able to have conversations with her parents. Can you come right back to Dad? I want to go on a snowmobile. Can we do it? Will you go on one? I think it would be fun. So here's your daughter, 11 years old, and finally you get to meet her. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Um, Overwhelming? <laughs> Overwhelming. I stopped looking at her as a disabled person. You promised. Did you lie to me? And started looking at her as a sort of sassy, mischievous teenage girl. Because they're waiting at the restaurant for We were also uh, horrified because for years we had spoken in front of her as if she wasn't there. Hi. But were these really her words and thoughts? Are you now certain that this severely autistic girl is communicating is expressing her emotions through a computer. Yes. Positive. Positive. There's no question. None. With. I want people to know that no one is telling me what to say, and I don't have a hand up my butt like a puppet. So you got it wrong. The therapist got it wrong. Yeah, when she was originally diagnosed, yeah, it was off. They've removed that diagnosis now. That diagnosis does not appear in her medical records now. Okay, can you put it in? For all her progress communicating, Carly still needs constant supervision. A family member or aide is always at her side, directing her through simple daily tasks, like brushing her teeth, fixing her hair, even eating. Nothing is easy. Like most teens, Carly likes music, boys, clothing, and of course, going to the mall. Which one? Carly has been very clear that she sees herself as a normal child locked in a body that does things that she has no control over. No, Carly. In public, everything has to be broken down and planned to control her impulses. In the past, she has wandered off, even stolen things. Side by side with her twin sister, Taryn, it would be easy to dismiss Carly as intellectually challenged. That is, until you ask her a question. Carly. Why do autistic kids cover their ears, flap their hands, hum, and rock? It's a way for us to drown out all sensory input that overloads us all at once. We create output to block out input. Carly's brain, unlike most people's, is overwhelmed by the senses of sight and sound, taste and smell. Our brains are wired differently. We take in many sounds and conversations at once. I take over a thousand pictures of a person's face when I look at them. That's why we have a hard time looking at people. I have learned how to filter through some of the mess. I said, Carly, can you tell me why you slap yourself? She wrote back that she does it to stop her from doing something that she knows she's not supposed to do. What is she trying to do? If she has an impulse to go in and empty out all the drawers in her room and strip her bed, she knows that's wrong. She's written that to me. So she'll hit herself to break the impulse. But her therapists and family have found better ways to keep Carly's impulses in check by listening to music, swimming, even yoga. The one thing she can control is when and where she'll type. So oh, this is John. This is John. And usually she needs to be motivated. Finish up. You're doing great. When I tried making conversation with Carly, she would not type back. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Her finger hovering over the keys for hours, 
until I brought up my teenage son. He wants to play football. No, oh, she's smiling. It's going to be something funny. <laughs> Are you embarrassed? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we want to hear what you have to say. Cute. Yes, I guess he's cute. I listen to her probably more than I listen to most other people that I talk to in a given day. She has a tremendous sense of humor. I haven't seen you the whole summer. Yeah. Hey, hot stuff. Did you dress up for me? Uh, Whoa, hello. Then there was this recent exchange. Barb, how cute are you? Carly. I'm so cute, blind people stop and stare. It's, you know, two years that we've been communicating, and every time she writes something, there's a little bit of that sense of awe. The room resembled a ship's cabin. Its walls Dear made Dad, of wooden legs, I love when you read to me, by many coats and I love that you believe in me. I know I'm not the easiest kid in the world, Give me a kiss. However, you are always there for me, holding kiss. my hand and picking me up. I love you. Okay. I'll go through many sleepless nights to hear that. I'll spend every penny we have to hear that. Was there one writing in particular that left a lump in your throat? In this writing where she says, you've never been in my body, I wish for one day you could be in my body. A year after we first met Carly, she is happier, calmer, more independent. Come on, let's get this in the, pan. In the pan. She's even writing a novel. I think that humankind is just oblivious to things that have been around for many years. She also has her own internet blog and Twitters regularly, answering questions from people all over North America. I think Carly knows that she now has a voice that can help other kids. Now she looks at herself as someone who can make a mark on the world, and that's got to be life-changing. What do you hope for Carly now? I want her to be happy. I want her to have dreams and goals and accomplish those goals in spite of her challenges. I think the only thing I can say is don't give up. Your inner voice will find its way out. Mine did. <laughs>